a very late start to today. Uh, just got some stuff in. I uh, let's go over this. This is my new switch for the uh, Dremel. I just uh, I think that's just an on-off thing. That'll be fine because the speed is controlled. You can control it right there on the machine. So that thing there's just a little too dangerous. So we'll we'll hook that up in a minute. I actually got something. I got something. Uh, the Bonneville, which I'm going to work on right now. Let's talk about all that stuff. Let's talk about the Bonneville. This is a uh, heavy-duty 40-amp, 12-volt uh, circuit breaker that I'm going to use for that fan right there on that radiator. Uh, this does not fit your normal stuff, so I'm not sure how I'm going to wire it up, but I'm going to do something. I got these yesterday. I didn't realize that thing was so damn big. Uh, but I'm going to use it because that's what I got it for. So, um, those aren't going to work. But this is quite a bit bigger than the ones I normally use. I was hoping that we would do that, but we're not going to. So, I got some of those anyway. Those came with these. I did not know these even came in 40 amp. And, uh, so, and I got some extras of those. Here's the switch I'm going to use and the breaker. I got some of these, too. I don't know how good these are going to be. Uh, these are ignition protected. So they pop up. I guess that'll work for, uh, what would you say, diagnostic stuff. So I'm not even sure what's in here. So 5, 10, 30, whoa, 25. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and that's and that's all you get. That's enough. So, uh, if they had a forty, I might have used it here, but uh, just not. I don't know what else I would do that with that if I don't use it here. I hardly ever get it get called for on that. So we'll see. Let's wire this thing up for this fan, and we will uh, drop the. Uh, I better be a little bit more mindful of this stuff. Let's go back. Oh, i got to go back over to the box. So, interesting uh, developments there, I think. I got my Prussian Blue. I've had this before, and that's going to be used on the Spitfire head. So, we'll put it there. I don't have the lapping compound yet. And uh, I got... Oh, you know, that's probably the best way to do this. Pack things, but it is, I have to pop them all the time to get them out of the way. So I got, I really didn't see a point in getting this in green stripe. This is what regular stripe or something. Uh, I don't know if it tells you what it is. I think it does. Ooh, it smells like communism. Safety stripe, they call it. That stuff stinks. Gosh, I thought the pigment ore smelled bad. So I got that because I'm gonna I'm gonna redo all the heater hoses on this car. So we'll just put it over here on Lucy. So I think that'll do. I've got all that five eighths green stripe that I used on Bonnie here. Another windy day. Well, let's get to wiring, and uh, I'll do, and then show, and then we'll go from there. And all right, I think that the only thing I'm short of getting the Spitfire going is my lapping compound. Just fall over. I don't care. I don't have to burn some of this stuff, recycle it or something. So, uh, get, once I get the head on it and get the Spitfire going, I can move the, the not completed TR4 over and finish the exhaust system. But for now, let's just do a little lightweight something here. Hmm. There's a big sucker, so I don't know if I got any plugs that big. I'm just not used to dealing with it. It's got a dent in it, I have to send it back. You know, dang if I don't have one that big. It's got a 50 ampere in it. I believe that came off John's old truck where they had a 
stereo system in it. Yeah, that looks like stereo wire. I kind of remember that from Mix Lexus. We'll see if it goes, if it fits. Look at that. Well, <laughs> okay then. Boy, don't didn't leave myself a lot there, did I? Or somebody didn't. Uh, well, we'll fix that up. Hmm. I just forgot that was even there. Wow, did I get lucky. Who makes that? It doesn't look rotten or anything in there. A little dielectric grease will do it good. Somebody said dielectric grease wasn't conductive. Did you think it was? <laughs> I, just, uh, I just, I was kind of surprised by that statement. Well, I, I wasn't expecting it to be conductive. But anyway, everybody's got to learn, don't they? Including me. i got to learn too. It's 20 till 9. And I was going to show you, I've got this all mocked up here. I've got the radiator and the fan right there. I've taken the two wires. I've taken the black one to earth. The blue one to the blue wire on the relay. Here, let's just look at the diagram. I've got this gigantic, uh, this gigantic 40 amp baby there. And I got it going directly to the battery, more or less, through one little connection. That's okay. Your two powers, one goes to the relay, and I just sort of hooked the relay up right there. It'd be fine. And so the other one goes to the switch. So here you go. Your car battery goes to earth. There's your great big 20 amp fuse. Your two blue wires, one going to the switch. One going to relay. White wire off the relay going through the firewall, the bulkhead, and uh, into the switch that I've already mounted. Relays it has its earth right here. And I just doubled them up. I earthed the uh, the motor and the relay on the same little deal right there. So the hot wire, the 87A is off, and the yellow is at load. So let's uh, let's just see what happens here. And uh, I don't know. This might just be all I do. Everything else is just clean up. I'm glad I came over here though because I found that my little my little fix there ain't too good. I guess I knocked it loose a little bit when I was trying to pull the wires through. So I'll show you the way I did it. Boy, I love that LED light. And uh, so here's everything. Let me go, let me make it official. Let me go on the, on the driver's side and see what it's like. It's a little bit more trouble to get over there with this thing in the way. Sheesh. Oh, and that's, and this thing in the way. This moves easy though. Okay, well, well, still kind of the other way. <laughs> I forgot the gantry was there. It's kind of hard to forget a gantry, but I guess I did. Uh, let's see, see if I can get to her this way. And I want to unplug the soldering iron anyway. We always solder our wires. Don't step on the LED tube lamp. Okay. So, let's take a look here. I... There's my big light over there. We've wasted enough time, though, now, haven't we? So, this is the setup. Uh, so, I got another switch on there. Boy, it looks like a, it's like a cheap rocket, doesn't it? Okay. Well, let's find out what happens. And uh, listen up, and then I'm going in. Okay, you ready? Oh, i got to show you. Let's turn. I hope the light will come on. Okay, and let's just see what it's like to reach it. It's not terrible to reach it. Okay, so safety off, red light on. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Whoa, listen to that baby. Listen to her whir. It's apparently blowing the correct way. <laughs> I can feel it from here. Those spell fans, man, good God. Here, let's see if I can. I think I heard it to run it like that. I got some of this stuff. Uh, let's just see how how good this does. Okay. Whoa! 
that's really something. Boy, that feels great. And that'll move some air. It'll not, not only move it past the radiator, it'll, it'll evacuate the, the engine compartment. Welly, welly. I am happy about that. I got lucky tonight finding that gigantic fuse holder. Okay. <laughs> blew it. Blew it up. <sighs> okay. Well, let's just put that down there. Amazing. Okay, well, I guess this is going to be a short one. Actually, it's taken me a very, very long time. I've, I don't know, I just felt like taking my time on this. So, I'm going to, once I get it, uh, once I get the, uh, the radiator mounted in place, I'll do a better job of, uh, oh, let's take this apart so before I forget to. Of routing these wires, but for now I don't see any point in it because I got I got a lot of other things to do. Just might be putting the motor in here pretty soon. So I kind of swore to myself I wouldn't put anything on top of the bag, but these are the head gaskets, so I kind of feel like that's going to be okay. I'll clean up tomorrow. It's going on nine o'clock. I want to go in. I'm tired of being hot and sweaty, sick and tired of being sick and tired. So uh, interesting. I've enjoyed uh, that little project. So I got that off my back, and uh, tomorrow I should have the lapping compound, and I'll be able to maybe get the Spitfire going tomorrow. And then if I can just get the Bonneville going, I'll have all my stock uh, running true. So that'll be great. Okay, well, give me a thumbs up. And uh, God, I didn't, did I even turn that on? Yeah, let's turn that off. And that's a water heater. And I gotta take this thing. Boy, I tell you what, I, I just I just can't get happy with that that system. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks for spending time with me. Hit the like button, subscribe, and uh let's uh let's see what we can learn from each other. I appreciate you guys watching. Bye bye.